and we're live. What's up, everybody? Today, today I am making pelmini. Pelmini is a Russian dumpling or Russian ravioli, typically eaten with butter or sour cream. We're gonna do this. Let's try it out. Salt. Eggs. And some milk. All right. So I consulted with the real Russian after failing before stream because I was reading different recipes online. Some said to chill the dough and some said to let it sit. I've been told to let it sit. Don't put it in the fridge. Don't put it in the fridge. Do not put it in the fridge. Let's see. Four and a quarter cups of flour. Two. Three. Ah, I have it. My nose itches. I want to scratch it. All right, flour done. What's next? All right, salt. Teaspoon of salt. Oh, she says one egg. Man, this this seems like a lot of flour for only one egg. Three quarters of a cup of water. Now you add the water slowly, not all at once, mm -hmm. And now, this is interesting, milk. All right, I don't know about this. It's, it's a really weird texture. I'm worried, you guys. It's looking mighty dry. All right, we're adding more water. Uh, it's stressful. In with the hands. Don't forget to eat it with mayonnaise. You're crazy. You're insane. It looks very gluey. Look at this. This does not look right, you guys. What is this? What is this? All right, I'm just gonna keep this here and add a little bit at a time. All right, this is looking good. This looks good. Wow. I'm happy now. Much better. Much better. I'm feeling better now. Next part is the meat. Where's the meat? Pork with fat, it says specifically. Mix up the meat, onions, I'm using garlic for sure. It says use more pork than beef. I don't think I had enough pork, so I might just do half and half even. All right, that looks good enough. <laughs> if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. You squishy, you, you are sick. <laughs> oh, it's freezing. I got, my hands gave me brain freeze. The source of life. <sighs> yes, garlic. When I went to Russia, they served this brown bread, really crispy, probably full of butter. That's why it tasted so good. And then garlic and pickles on the side. The garlic was pickled and you could eat it. You could just eat it like chips. So good. Yeah, I'm gonna do two garlic. I take that back. All right, so I'm gonna mute you guys. See that food processor? Bloop. I need to blend that and it's gonna destroy your ears. Twelve seconds later. How far am I uh, in Ghost of Tsushima? 
I've been playing a few weeks, but my streams the past couple weeks were a little shorter than normal because I just started Gray Area. If you guys haven't seen it, Gray Area is my new show with Venn TV. We go live every Wednesday and every Friday at 7 p.m. I'm gonna hide the bowl for a second because I'm gonna put my secret inside. Can you see me? No. Okay, good. You'll never know. You'll never know. I just had another good idea. <sighs> Heavenly. Another idea. I have to hide this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. That was a good idea. It's like aerating your lawn. Ugh. This smells so heavenly. Oh. All right, washing my hands. Photo. Forgot already. Here goes nothing. Hmm. 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 It's looking a little sticky still. I don't know, it's looking kind of sticky. I'll just add more flour as we go. Roll it out, man. All right, I feel like it can be thinner. It looks a little thick. Yet. That looks better. Looks like a surprised face. <laughs> a melted surprise face. <laughs> now the dough is overworked. No. Stretch and roll. Round two. I'm gonna make these even thinner. I was in Russia once, or a few times. I did meet a Russian chef, but he prepared everything already and I just like folded the pelmini, so it doesn't really count. This is the final moment, this is the final moment of truth. Will this actually work? Can you see that? Might be too much. There is onion in this. Don't worry. <gasps> okay, and now? Oh my goodness. <gasps> we did it! We did it! Pinch it, just like the empanadas, and then you join it, the two ends together, like that. Mmm, I'm so excited. Oh, that's it. That's the best one so far. Oh, so cute. So cute. Okay, so it says you boil them. Once you throw them in the water, you stir it so they don't stick to the bottom because it's freshly made, right? If you're excited, spam me the emotes. Spam me the Gudetama emote. All right, how many do I want? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, just looking at them in the water, they look 
really big. They look bigger than I've had them at restaurants and in Russia. Might use something a little smaller next time. So pelmini is usually served with just butter or butter and sour cream, a little butter and sour cream. I like it with the sour cream, but it is a good idea to add just a little butter. The flavors go really well together like that. Moment of truth, second moment of truth. Mix it around in that butter first, right? Coat it. Just a little. This is the good stuff. Watch this. Sour cream. Oh yes, I did get Russian sour cream too. There you go, you see that? Melt. Yes. Ah. That's the life. How can how can this not taste good with all this sour cream? Here goes nothing. Mmm. 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 Pilmini. You guys keep saying, pronounce it right. Pilmini. Like peel. Pilmini. There you go. I said it right. It's pronounced. Pilmini. 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 Eh. Eh. Pilmini. 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 That's how I said it the first time. Pilmini. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Spasiba. This was another episode of Secret Sauce. So excited, so happy that these turned out so good. So, thanks again. Bye. Goodbye.